Another camera app that I like to use is called Filmic Pro. And as you can see, this is what the interface looks like. Here on the far right are your audio levels. You can see that right now we are recording audio, so it's a good indicator. And it's also great for showing how loud your audio is recording. Right here is your record button. Next to that is your playback button, so you can watch any previous videos that you have already recorded. Next to that is your settings button. These two right here shows how much battery life you have left and also how much memory storage space you have left. Right here in the middle is your time code to show how long you have been recording. Next to that is your video resolution, your video quality, so 1080p HD is what it shows here, and also your frame rate, so 30 frames per second. Underneath the time code is this indicator that you can slide from left to right. This controls your audio levels. So as you slide it to the left, you can see that your audio levels start to decrease, and when you slide it all the way to the left, uh, it shows that no audio is being recorded. So I like to keep it all the way to the right, uh, generally when I'm just recording with my phone, but if I'm using an external mic to record audio, that's when I start to adjust the audio levels with that indicator. Right here, this A icon button, that shows more advanced settings when you um, tap on that. Next to that, in this circle target, that allows you to manually adjust your focus and exposure. Um, and next to that, these three color circles allows you to manually adjust your white balance. Um, and remember, exposure is your brightness and white balance is the color temperature. So before we start recording, let's head into settings, okay? And frame rate. So frame rate, you can see all these different options for frame rate. Right now we have 30 frames per second set. So just like in our iPhone's camera app where we have 30 frames per second set, we have this set at 30 frames per second as well. Below that, you can adjust the frame rate if you want. And this also, and below that is your playback frame rate. So when you take a video and you watch it back, it's going to play back at 30 frames per second. So here on the far right where it says standard, this refers to video, your video settings. Below that it says time lapse. So right now you are in your time time lapse settings. So you can set the intervals right here. So three seconds is what it's set. You can choose five seconds, 10 seconds. Um, and right here in the bottom, it says 30 uh, frames per second playback. So you'll watch the video, the time lapse video back at 30 frames per second. And one thing to keep in mind is that you want to make sure that if you intend to shoot video, make sure the standard button is highlighted. When, if when you intend to shoot a time-lapse video, make sure time-lapse is highlighted before you exit out and press record. So let's go back and hit standard because we are shooting a video. Next, let's head into resolution. So as you can see here on the top, it shows the different aspect ratios. I keep it at 16 by 9 because that's a standard aspect ratio for your video. Below that, you have your video resolution, your video quality. So you can see here it says 1080p HD. My phone can shoot up to 4K, so the options go up to 4K. And it goes all the way down to 7, 720p HD and 540p SD. So we'll keep it at HD 1080p. Um, and now below that is your bit rate options. So you can see here it says Filmic Extreme. It goes all the way down to Economy. I keep it at Filmic Extreme because that is the best quality video that you can get with this. All right, so now let's head into audio. Here at the top, it shows what microphone source you want to record your audio. 
I have it set to iPhone microphone front. You can choose back or the bottom, up to you. I have it set to the front just because when I'm filming myself, I film myself most of the time and when I film others, it still gets uh, great audio. Next is the audio format. I have it set to AAC because it's the best in terms of compatibility when I edit my video in Adobe Premiere Pro, the editing software. So that's why I choose AAC. Um, and then I have it set to record audio at 48 kilohertz. All right, so now let's head into the switch camera button. When we press that, it switches to the front camera press it again, and now we, it switches back to the back camera. So down here next to camera, you have stabilization. So if you're moving around, running or walking um, on uneven ground, it keeps your video stable, uh, which is pretty helpful. So we're gonna turn that off for now. Here on the top right, we have presets. Um, presets is great because it allows you to save whatever settings you have or whatever settings you want before you start recording. So the next thing we want to do is set up our shot. Right now, everything is set on automatic. That includes your focus, your white balance, and your exposure. So for example, when I put my fingers in front of the camera lens, the focus shifts to my fingers and then shifts back when I take them out. So as you can see right here, there's a square. This square is your focus square. So wherever you drag it to, gets in focus. So let's bring it back to the orange, okay? And let's say we wanna lock down our focus where the orange is. All you have to do is tap on the square until it turns red. And now when I place my fingers in front of the camera, the orange stays in focus. So this circle right here, this circle is your exposure, your brightness. So wherever you drag it to in the screen changes the brightness, as you can see. Okay, so same thing like the square. If you wanna lock down your exposure, wherever the circle is, all you have to do is tap on the circle until it turns red, and now your exposure, your brightness is locked down where that circle is. Now let's head into white balance. So these three colored circles. Right now, we have auto white balance selected. So the temperature is natural looking. We can actually go to the square here and adjust the color temperature. So you can see right now, everything looks super orange. Bring it down here, everything looks super blue. When we press auto white balance, it brings, it does a pretty good job at adjusting the color temperature to make sure that it looks as natural as possible. Now to lock down white balance, press the button again until it turns red. So now that you know how to lock down your exposure, your focus, and white balance, you can simply press record and make your first video. But let's also go over how to record a time lapse. And under standard, make sure that you are capturing the video at 24 frames per second, and playback is at 24 frames per second for the time lapse. Now press the time lapse tab. And in general, I like to choose five second intervals for the time lapse. So when you choose a five second interval, that means your app will capture a frame, which is an image, every five seconds and stitch all those images together and it automatically creates a video. Next, go into resolution. And if your phone is capable of doing 4K, choose that and also Filmic Extreme. Once you lock down your focus, exposure, and white balance, press record. And the white numbers indicate how long your final video is going to be. So after I recorded this video for 10 minutes, about 10 minutes, I got a five second video. 
a good rule of thumb is that if you are recording normal movement, such as people walking or cars uh, passing by, I would choose a lower interval. If you are filming slow moving objects such as clouds and you wanna make sure that they move faster within your time-lapse video, choose a higher interval, like 10 seconds. But for the most part, five second interval is a good interval to start with. Okay, so now let's head into the circle target icon. Uh, you can see that you're able to manually adjust the focus and manually adjust the brightness. So we'll start with focus. So when we bring the dial up, you can see everything gets out of focus and it's blurry. We bring it down too much. We wanna find that sweet spot and get into focus. So we'll bring the apple into focus and that's a good point right there. Below that, we have zoom. So you can use this dial to zoom in and zoom out as well. And here on the left, we have our uh, exposure so you can adjust the exposure so remember exposure is like brightness when we bring the dial up it's a little too bright over and overexposed bring it down it's a little too dark and underexposed we want to find that sweet spot to where everything looks as natural as possible perfect all right so now that we have that set here on the left we have a number three dots and then a fraction at the bottom this number is your ISO. ISO is the same thing as your exposure and brightness. It's just a number indicator. So these three dots in the middle allows you to adjust how high or how low you want your um, ISO, your exposure to be. So when I go to the dot on the far right, it says high ISO bias. So it allows you to have high, high exposure. Then you have moderate and then low. Below that is your shutter speed. So shutter speed is, remember when we talked about frame rate? So shutter speed is how fast your camera is able to capture each frame. So a higher fraction, let's say one, one twentieth of a second, it, your camera is able to capture each frame super fast. As opposed to one thirtieth of a second means your camera captures each frame uh, at a slower pace. So your eyes naturally see, naturally see movement with a shutter speed of at least 1 50th of a second. Let's say you want to lock down ISO and just adjust the shutter speed. So you can see that only the shutter speed is adjusting. So we'll keep it at 1 60th of a second. Next, we want to lock down shutter speed and now we can adjust the ISO. Okay, so now let's head into the advanced options. So here, here on top, you can see that there are four icons. On the far left are zebra stripes. Um, the next is clipping, next is uh, false color, and next is focus peaking. So when I click on zebra stripes, you can see that the image turns black and white and you see all these different stripes. Basically, this just helps you see what's too bright and what's too dark, what's overexposed and what's underexposed. So let's go back and adjust the, let's adjust the ISO. So you can see that the red stripes indicate that it's too bright, it's overexposed. Now, you can see blue stripes, and you can see that the blue stripes indicate whatever is too dark and underexposed. Now, when we go to focus peaking, this has to do with um, making sure things are in focus. So, you can see it's black and white still. Um, when we bring our focus dial up, Whatever is most green in the image is whatever is in focus. When we bring it down, let's say we wanna get the apple in focus. The apple has the most green on it, so that means the apple is in focus. So you can also use focus peaking without your image looking black and white. 
just press the focus speaking icon to turn it off and adjust your focus again and you can see that focus peaking is still on and you have those green indicators. When you use focus peaking and you're recording your video, your end video um, will not have those green indicators on it and likewise whenever you're recording your end video will not have any, will not look black and white, you won't see any of these stripes. These are just to help you um, make sure everything and all the settings are good to go in terms of your exposure and your focus. Okay, so we'll exit out of those and turn those off. And there you have it. Okay, so now that you have a better understanding of Filmic Pro and all the capabilities of the app to really take your videos to the next level, let's head over to the next module and go over equipment.